In September, some four and a half months after the explosion at the Deepwater Horizon oil rig and the ensuing spill, the Nature Conservancy in Louisiana will get back to work on a project to build an oyster reef at Vermilion Bay. The project is being funded by a grant through the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation and is being built at the Audubon Society's Paul J. Rainey Sanctuary. The project here, halfway completed at the time of the oil spill, represents one of many such restoration projects in which the Conservancy is involved. While the techniques from site to site vary, the desired outcomes remain the same. Increased habitat for marine species, including shrimp, crab, and game fish, improved water quality, and shoreline protection. Louisiana leads the nation in oyster production. However, the majority of this production is done uh, on two-dimensional structures that are farmed along the, on the bottom of the waterway. Historically, Louisiana has three-dimensional oyster reefs, a large number of them, uh, and that's why we're doing this. We're trying to restore the three-dimensional oyster reefs back to Louisiana. The Nature Conservancy chose this area for this reef because this, the influence of the rivers and the Gulf of Mexico creates an ideal salinity environment for oysters to grow in this part of the coast. And this is evidenced by the other oyster reefs that we see in this area. Uh, we're out of Vermilion uh, Bay and this is the uh, TNC project where basically we have four treatments that are approximately 170 linear feet each and there's two single rows here behind me in treatment number one and the bamboo stake line that you see is uh, marking the outside uh, lines of those rings under the water surface. Our concrete rings are five foot diameter and they're approximately 29 inches tall and they have a biological ingredient that uh, provides an attractant for the oysters. We've decided to uh, use airboats with a uh, extendable boom crane that will minimize our impact in doing this which will keep us from dredging any channels to try to get to the project. Currently uh, setting the second tier row on uh, treatment number two at the TNC project in Vermilion Bay and uh, we've been here just a matter of 12 minutes and have already set four rings so uh, the expediting of uh, the project can uh, give you a sense of time of how quickly things can happen under favorable conditions. I'm a uh, owner operator of Amphibious Marine. We provide uh, the boats, barges, and airboats to deploy these uh, reefs. Uh, I love the fish, and I think a project like this is going to help the, uh, the fish, shrimp, oysters, everything. Well, it's helping the local economy, and also our wetlands are deteriorating. You know, this surely has to help. Vermilion Bay is located some 130 miles west of Grand Isle and St. Bernard Marsh, where the Conservancy began in April and soon will resume a project to restore 3.4 miles of oyster reefs that border some 350 acres of marshland. Here the restoration technique involves the use of interlocking triangle structures made of welded steel with space for mesh bags of oyster shells, a technique proven to be highly successful at the Conservancy's Mad Island Marsh Preserve in Texas.